Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Iliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will transform an equation of an ellipse from standard form to its general form. Last time, we were able to identify the standard and general form of an ellipse and also we were able to transform the general form into its standard form by very good completing the square. But for today, since we are now given the standard form and we need to transform this into its general form, so what do we do now? Yes, exactly. We will be having its least common denominator. Okay, so let's have here the example. We have the quantity x minus 3 squared over 9 plus the quantity y plus 2 squared over 25 is equal to 1. And know here that this is in very good, in standard form. Therefore, we need to convert this standard form into the general form. ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So, in order for us to get its factors, we need to look at the denominator. We are given 9 and 25. Therefore, we need to multiply both sides by 9 and 25 so that the denominators will cancel out. Okay, let's multiply. 9 times 25 times this one, the first term. Therefore, this divided by this one, very good. We cancel out 9. Therefore, this becomes x minus 3 quantity squared multiplied to 25. So we need to write down 25 here plus 9 times 25 multiplied to the second term. For the second term, therefore, it becomes what? We need to cancel out 25. Therefore, this becomes 9 times the quantity y plus 2 squared is now equal to what? 2 9 times 25. And what is 9 times 25? Therefore, 9 times 25 is very good. That is 225. So what do we do next? If we are given standard going to general, we? Exactly. We need to expand. Therefore, this becomes 25 times. What is the expansion of x minus 3 quantity squared? It becomes x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus let us now expand y plus 2 quantity squared therefore that is 9 times y squared plus 2 times 2 is 4 times y therefore that becomes 4y plus 2 times 2 therefore that is 4 which is equal to 225 what do we do next we distribute okay we distribute 25 and we also distribute 9 to the group 25 times x squared, it becomes 25 x squared. 25 times negative 6x, that is negative 150x. 25 times positive 9, therefore that is positive 225. Plus, distribute 9 to the group, that is 9 times y squared, 9y squared. 9 times 4y, that would be plus 36y. 9 times 4, Therefore, that is plus 36 is now equal to 225. So let us now look and analyze the equation. So we are given 25x squared. Since we are asked to transform this equation from standard going to general form, let's arrange this into the order of general form. We have ax squared plus cy squared. Therefore, we have 25x squared. 25x squared and then plus 9y squared. What comes after 9y squared? That would be dx. Therefore, that is minus 150x. What comes after dx? Ey plus 36y and then all the constants. So we are given plus 225 plus 36 and then transfer this constant to the left side. If this is positive 225, we transfer that to the left side, it becomes negative 225, which is now equal to zero. 
So let us now simplify. So in simplifying, this is positive 225. We are given negative 225. What do we do? Very good. We cancel that out. Rewrite the equation. Therefore, we are given now 25x squared plus 9y squared minus 150x plus 36y. And then the constant, which is positive 36, is now equal to zero and that is the transformation of the given standard form going to its general form is that clear okay so let's have the second example for the second example we are given x minus 6 quantity squared over 36 plus y minus 4 quantity squared over 16 is equal to 1 so again we need to multiply and what would be that factor? That would be, get the denominator, that is 36, times, again, choose this denominator, that is 16. So, this would be 36 times 16. Okay, so multiply this to the first term. What happens if we will be multiplying this to this one? This is 36 times 16 divided by 36. Cancel out 36, we're left with 16 times the quantity x minus 6 squared plus multiply that to the second term therefore it becomes 36 times 16 divided by 16 cancel out 16 therefore we will be having 36 times y minus 4 quantity squared is now equal to this term multiply to the right side and that is 36 times 16 so what do we do next very good we need to expand so we will be having 16 times what will be the expansion of x minus 6 quantity squared therefore the expansion will be x squared 6 times 2 negative 6 times 2 is negative 12 times x therefore that is negative 12 x negative 6 times negative 6 that is plus 36 plus Okay, so let's now have here 36 times y minus 4 quantity squared. So let us expand y minus 4 quantity squared. That becomes y squared. Negative 4 times 2, that is negative 8 times y. Therefore, that is negative 8y. Negative 4 times negative 4, we will be having positive 16. Is now equal to... 36 times 16. So what is 36 times 16? That is 576. Okay. So we need to distribute 16 and we also we will also distribute 36 to the group. Therefore, 16 times x squared, that is 16x squared. 16 times negative 12x, that is negative 192x. 16 times 36, therefore, that would be plus 576 plus 36 times y squared is 36y squared. 36 times negative 8y will give us an answer of negative 288y. 36 times 16 would give us an answer of positive 576 which is now equal to 576 so we need to arrange this into its general form we have x squared therefore that is 16 x squared we have y squared plus 36 y squared we have dx that is minus 192x we have ey that is negative 288 y and then we have the constant plus 576 plus 576 and then transfer this to the left side if that is positive 576 it becomes negative 576 which is now equal to zero what can we say about positive 576 and negative 576 exactly we need to cancel this out therefore our answer would be 16 x squared plus 36 y squared minus 192x minus 288y and the only constant now is plus 576 is equal to zero and that is the final answer 
And that is how we um, transform standard form into its general form. Let's now have the last example. Okay, so I will just erase this one. Let's have the last example. Again, if we would like to simplify the standard form or we would like to transform the standard into general, just use the denominators of the given fraction. So what if we're now given x plus 3 quantity squared over 7 plus y plus 1 quantity squared over 16 is equal to 1? So this will be our last example. So that is example number 3. Again, so what do we multiply here now? We will be multiplying 7 and what? Very good. 7 and 16. So that is 7 times 16. Multiply this to the first term. Therefore, what happens? 7 times 16 divided by 7. Cancel out 7. That becomes 16 times the quantity x plus 3 squared. Plus, multiply this to the second term. Therefore, that is 7 times 16 divided by 16. What happens? Cancel out 16. We're left with 7. And multiply that to the numerator, which is y plus 1 quantity squared is now equal to multiply that to the right side 7 times 16 times 1 therefore that is just 7 times 16 so what do we do next we need to yes we need to expand therefore this becomes 16 times what will be the expansion of x plus 3 quantity squared x times x x squared 3 times 2 is 6 times x therefore that is plus 6x 3 times 3 very good that is 9 plus 7 times what will be the expansion of y plus 1 quantity squared y times 1 y squared 1 times 2 is 2 times y therefore that is 2y plus 1 times 1 is just 1 okay and what is 7 times 16 okay that is 112 in this case we will now be multiplying 16 to the group and 7 to the group. Therefore, this becomes 16 times x squared, 16x squared. We have also 16 times 6x that becomes plus 96x plus 16 times 9 is 144. So let's move on to the next one. 7 times y squared is 7y squared plus 7 times 2y is 14y. 7 times y is, 7 times 1 is 7 is now equal to 112. So let's look at the general form ax squared. Therefore, we have 16x squared. And then we have cy squared. Therefore, we'll be having plus 7y squared. What do we have next? dx. It takes the form plus 96x. We have ey. Therefore, that becomes 14y. And then add all the constants. We have 144, 144 plus 7. We have positive 112 on the right side. And we need to transfer that to the left side. Therefore, positive 112 will become exactly negative 112 is now equal to 0. Okay, so let us now get the sum of all the constant. Therefore, this is 16x squared plus... 7y squared plus 96x plus 14y. We have 144 plus 7 minus 112. Therefore, it is now equal to positive 39, which is now equal to 0. Therefore, the, the transformation now of this term, this is standard form into the general form is 16x squared plus 7y squared plus 96x plus 14y plus 39 is equal to 0. So that is for our last example. And that is how we transform the standard form to general form of an ellipse. Always remember that if you are transforming from standard to general, all you have to do is to arrive with a factor. And that factor will depend on the denominators of the first term and the second term of the left side. Is that clear? Once again, I am Engineer Jod Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye. 
and God bless.